a vintage guitar that's made in the USA and under $500? Hey everybody, Jay Allen here. Welcome back to the channel. So I've been kind of obsessed with old uh, music technology lately. I just did a video on the uh, PV Rage amp. Uh, this was the first amp that I ever bought. So I've kind of been going down this rabbit hole of buying old music tech and old guitars and amps and things like that. And so I found another PV uh, product and they made guitars also, also made in the USA. And this is a vintage guitar. This guitar is from 1986. And here it is. It's called the PV Patriot. So here it is. This is the PV Patriot. Uh, it's uh, sort of your typical Strat style guitar. Uh, it's a two-piece mahogany body, uh, maple neck, and uh, it's got some interesting quirks about it that I kind of like. First of all, it's super lightweight. I'm not sure if the body sort of, it seems small. It seems like the body's smaller than, say, a Strat. Uh, I'm not sure what the thickness is of it. Yeah, it's an inch and a half thick uh, body, so it's not an inch and three quarter like a uh, regular Stratocaster. Uh, it's got this really unusual bridge system on it where the strings kind of fit down in there and then lock, the ball end of the string locks in there and then it comes across. Uh, it's not a trem, but they did have a trem option. Um, and then there's these set screws in here that allow you to sort of adjust it and then you can adjust the intonation as well and then these are what they're calling a super ferrite single coil blade pickup and these are pv branded so these are pv's own pickups that they put into this uh, guitar uh, i like this one because the the tune tone and uh volume knobs are these really cool looking uh, vintage style knobs and then it's got a toggle switch this toggle switch too is is kind of neat it's a it's just a chrome toggle switch like you'd see on a instrument panel or something and according to the specs that i found on the internet this nut material is called uh graflon so some kind of graphite i would i would assume it's it's black and then the frets are just regular probably nickel steel frets um the frets i mean the fret ends are are smooth it's a lacquered uh neck and the fretboard is lacquered too this one's obviously worn it's from 1986 uh, but the frets on this one are actually in pretty good shape so and then it's got a, just a plastic cover on the uh truss rod adjustment and uh then this string tree is kind of unique it's it's uh just a triangle shape piece of metal there. And then these are just sort of standard enclosed tuners. Now, uh, the serial number on this is 0259, etc. And according to this post here on a PV forum, that would date this guitar from 1986. So that was right about the time that I started getting into guitar and playing. And so that sort of fits with the PV amp, the PV Rage amp that I recently purchased. Um, and then it's got a, a plastic, uh, looks like plastic, well, maybe it's metal. Oh, I think it's, I think it's black, painted black metal with the plastic grommet. And then it's, there's a hole there. I think you can adjust the, um, it like a, like shim, like if you wanted to, adjust the neck uh, I think some of the fenders do that where you could I think it's a it looks like an allen key and you can tell that they've adjusted this neck because the the neck um, there's a gap so you can tell that it's that, that it was adjusted down so uh, this is a it looks like a three ply pick guard and then your usual strap buttons and uh, I didn't put it on a strap to see how. Let's check that out. 
Oh, actually, it's perfectly balanced. Perfectly balanced. So nice. Uh, and then it's it's got it's pretty close to a one and three quarter inch nut on it. So they're kind of following Gibson specs. So it's got a wider nut, a little bit wider string spacing, but then the scale length on it, so from the bridge to the nut, is around 24 and three quarters. Some of them listed as 24 and a half, um, but it's definitely right around 24 and three quarters. So it's a little bit shorter. It's a little bit easier to stretch on this uh, fretboard. Oh, and the fretboard radius is pretty flat on this. It's, uh, I measured about 12. Um, I think that's pretty close. Um, so it's pretty flat. So it feels pretty good as far as, you know, being able to move around on the fretboard. So, and uh, again, like I said, this guitar was made in the United States. So this is a USA made vintage guitar. I got it off of Reverb. Uh, the list price was $399, paid $65 shipping. And of course, with uh, uh, tax and everything. So then, yeah, my price was $487.94. So under $500 for a vintage Made in America guitar. Uh, so how does it sound? Let's check it out. And then the uh, jack is on the front of the pick guard. Okay. So we got it all set up, uh, running through a reaper session uh, using Tone Live GFX uh, amp modeling program. And this is just a clean. It's got a nice tone to it. Definitely a single coil sound. both pickups together. And then this would be the, yeah, this would be the uh, neck pickup. Let's uh, see what it sounds like. Oh yeah. Okay, so anyway there, that's pretty interesting guitar. So yeah, that's uh, pretty cool. It sounds pretty good. Um, it would I think it would sound better if it had uh, humbuckers in it, but uh, the single coils, these single coils don't sound too bad. I mean, this is, uh, what is this? This would be, uh, this is a 38 year old guitar. So, <laughs> so it sounds pretty good for its age. Uh, it's in pretty good condition too. I'm I'm actually pretty impressed uh, with it, and I like the I like the hardware. You can tell that that PV must have designed this from the ground up because they didn't use any hardware that it looks like it was. You know, maybe the tuners were stock tuners made somewhere, but this bridge is completely unique, and uh, the pickups too are just are unusual and very very interesting. So. Yeah, this is pretty cool. So I think uh, 
you might want to check that out. I got this off of, like I said, off of Reverb. Uh, I see them every once in a while. There's a different model. That, there's one called the T15, which is, the, I don't care for the body style as much as this one. I think this one's better looking. Uh, I saw one of those on uh, Goodwill Auctions. And uh, so, yeah, pretty cool. Vintage guitar, made in the USA, less than 500 bucks. So, there you go. Thanks again, everybody, for tuning in. If you like seeing videos about old technology and old music gear, stay tuned because I'm going to be doing a lot more videos on some of the old tech. I'm going to be diving into uh, some old, uh, like the early audio interfaces for uh, desktop computers and go over some of the early uh, DAWs. And I'm even going to go back to some of the Tascam uh, 4 and 8 track cassette recorders uh, that were available back then. And so, uh, again, if you like that sort of thing, stick around. Uh, thanks again for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.